This video is brought to you by the latest episode of Mrs. Six show, Spoonstuff Stories Episode 2, That's the Spirit. Check it out, it's voiced entirely by me and it's good, unlike everything else on this channel. Link in the description. Warning, do not consume turpentine, also known as 100% pure gum spirits of turpentine, orally, for health purposes. Alright, alright, nothing to see here, just a normal, very reasonable video, with incredibly good if you know, really, really obvious advice. So, um, why am I still here? Oh no, uh, guys, I fear the worst. This is something that I hear time and time again in the alternative health movement. Well, that's weird. Something from the alternative health movement that I agree with? Ugh, that feels wrong, man. Like someone walked over my grave? Or sitting on a warm toilet seat when you know you're the only one in the house? Kinda spooky. Just gotta remember, even if a stopped clock is right twice a day, doesn't mean the stupid clock doesn't also think that rocks are magic and you can cure cancer with water. God, clocks are morons. And I'm sure most of you know my channel. I highly promote it for the use of eliminating an overgrowth of candida and parasites. And now you're going to disavow such a stupid notion and go back to mostly silly crap instead of this full-on danger woo. Also apologies to the countless people who have been hurt by me promoting this insanity. That's what he's going to say, right? And not the opposite of that, because he's a giant dipshit. It is absolutely amazing. <sighs> Obviously. So this green screen looking mother flipper is called Danny Glass. That's glass spelt with a silent, odd damn, uni, s, aerial, tupid. And yep, he totally thinks that you should drink turpentine to heal you with various stuff. And surprisingly, this dipshittery was actually chucked off of YouTube's. Which is a tragedy. I mean, how am I supposed to make high quality content if I don't have anyone to make fun of? Thankfully, it didn't take him long to start scamming, I mean helping people, on an alternative platform. Can't keep a good woo peddler down. I'm sorry, did I say good? I meant scummy. So, yeah, a lot of people freak out about people sharing information on this and people saying that they're consuming it because... Because it's dangerous and you learn at about age five that it's really bad to drink all those yummy drinks from under the sink. And before then, it's just really hard to get into them. Honestly, child safety locks can't possibly be fit for purpose if Captain Dumbass here can get into them. Might have to look into locking them with the big F off metal locks and basic math problems to get into them instead. So he can't just brute force them as I'm sure he has been doing up till now. They say that it is paint stripper. Do you mean that thing that it literally is? Because that's literally what it does and is literally used for, literally. Are you going the MMS argument of because MMS aka Miracle Mineral Supplement isn't the exact same chemical compound as the bleach behind your toilet, then it's not bleach, even though there are loads of types of bleaches. They only make that asinine argument because everyone knows that you aren't supposed to drink bleach. Oh hey, just like you aren't supposed to drink turpentine, you great big melt. So I just wanted to make this video. Kinda wish you hadn't. Wouldn't it be nice if I didn't have to point out plonkers like you to the rest of the world? Wouldn't it be nice if you just didn't exist? And I was able to go back to my true calling of bouncy castle tester. Those things are fun, but I do this instead, cause the world needs me. And I am basically bad jokes Batman. To show people there's nothing to be concerned about. Huff. So, all turpentine is, or 100% pure gum spirits of turpentine is a distillation made from the pine tree and certain parts of the pine tree. No, that's not all it is, that's how it's made. Hell, it's not the only way it's made. But that doesn't really matter. I have a funny feeling you're gonna do the old it's natural, therefore it's good slash not dangerous. Cause that's a freaking stupid argument. I mean, tigers are pretty natural. But the last time I swallowed one of them, I couldn't crap for days. They are really big. So literally, it is pine essential oil. 
Ew, essential oils? I mean, I don't know if it's literally an essential oil, but if it is, well, it kind of proves the old essential oils aren't just useless for the medical purposes claimed by their peddlers, but they are actively dangerous. And are actively paint stripper. I mean, seriously, tell someone to put paint stripper in their kid's ear and see how quickly they tell you to screw off. But tell them it's pine essential oil and suddenly the stupid bastards are all over that crap. God, I hate humans. And if you look on Dr. Axe's website, which is one of the most well-known alternative natural healers out there. Oh, can you imagine being one of the most well-known alternative natural healers? That's like winning a biggest cock contest. No, not that type of biggest cock contests. You know, the one I keep losing to Captain Big Dick McPython Longschlong. Damn you, Big Dick McPython Longschlong. And your amazingly oversized cockerel. I mean the bad kind of biggest cock contest. Wait, there's a third kind. He promotes pine oil and tells about all the different amazing health benefits as well. No one freaks out about it. I mean, didn't you just open this video with the exact idea that people think it's a bad idea? Contradiction much? Are they or aren't they? Or perhaps this incredibly popular blah de blah actually is a complete unknown and you and your mates are the only ones into them. When of course nobody cares. But I'll tell you what it ain't. Both. When he calls it the pine oil, he doesn't call it turpentine or 100% pure gum spirits of turpentine. And there's a lot of other natural healers that promote it under this name as well. And this is why a lot of times people, I just call it pine oil. Because you know if you call it turpentine, they go, wait, are you freaking nuts? I'm not putting that in my body. Unsurprisingly. So of course you hide that fact from them. Otherwise, how will you get them to buy your wackadoodle BS? Honesty, as they say, is the worst policy. Can't trick people with all that honesty nonsense. And no one freaks out whatsoever. But yeah, a lot of people do when I say 100% pure gum spirits of turpentine. This is my shocked face. Can you tell how shocked I am? And in relation to it being a paint stripper, if you look up into a natural alternative paint strippers. Do you know what's a really good one that people use normally on an everyday basis is olive oil as well. Oh, you duplicitous little crap. First off, no they don't, not in the way you're suggesting, because shockingly, olive oil doesn't have the same properties as turpentine. In fact, even though you can use various oils to help you clean paint off of hard surfaces, which is an important part of that, you know what's recommended if it's a really stubborn stain? Mineral spirits. You might know that as white spirit. That thing that's just as bad for you if you chug it as turpentine and is considered a paint stripper. Just like turps. Secondly, even if olive oil was magically as good at it as terps, which it isn't, obviously, that wouldn't mean that they have the same exact effect on the human body, and even remotely suggesting that these two things are comparable is the most dishonest garbage pretty much ever. But no one is freaking out about that, and olive oil is actually really bad for you, and a lot of olive oil on the market is actually cut with other toxic oils as well. Olive oil is bad for you, therefore drink turpentine. I, I don't even know where to start with that. That you think that that is some kind of meaningful rebuttal to anything is simply amazing in itself. But like I said, they aren't even remotely comparable. I mean, one of them is food, for God's sake. There's a reason you see a lot of dishes with olive oil in it and a grand total of frig all with turpentine in it. I wonder what that reason might be. And yeah, everyone is using it widely on an everyday basis as well. The majority of people, especially in Western society. People use butter every day, so obviously they should drink petrol. People often eat pizza. Therefore, car tires are health food. This is so irrelevant, it's actually making me physically sweat from my brain. And I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to do that. I mean, there's liquid coming out of my ears, so I assume that that's just the sweat. Oh, wait, never mind. It's just blood. So just due to these two reasons, like, it just makes complete sense. It's not something to be concerned about. Right, so 
Because A, and I'm not sure which A you're going with, so let's just say both, it comes from pine trees and buttholes like you don't call it turpentine, and B, because olive oil is unhealthy, you should not be concerned about consuming something that does the following to the human body. Blood in urine, kidney failure, loss of vision, severe pain in throat, severe pain or burning in the nose, eyes, ears, lips or tongue. Low blood pressure and collapse. Breathing difficulty if breathing in fumes. Severe cough or choking. Throat swelling, possibly to the point of breathing difficulty. Dizziness, drowsiness, nervousness, convulsions slash seizures. Headache, staggering, tremors, unconsciousness, weakness, skin discoloration, burns, irritation, blood in stool, burns of the esophagus, severe abdominal pain, vomiting and of course vomiting blood. Now, remind me exactly which of those does olive oil tend to cause on a regular basis? I'll bet it's the burning one, right? You're a goddamn moron. There's a reason that there's such a thing as turpentine poisoning, but strangely not of olive oil poisoning. Or at least, for such a commonly consumed product, no one seems to get it, strangely. Although, now I do kind of want to see a death certificate with olive oil poisoning for the sheer morbid curiosity slash novelty of it. And yes, it can harm you if you take too much. The same can happen if you drink too much water. Yes, but the amounts needed are vastly different. You need to drink litres and litres of water in a short amount of time to reach what is called water intoxication, which, by the way, has a fraction of the symptoms of turpentine poisoning and the amount of turpentine needed to cause poisoning? Well, it ain't litres over a short period of time, I tell you that for free. So this is why you follow the specific protocols so it does not go wrong. Or, crazy idea, but just bear with me, don't drink turpentine, like at all, because it's poisonous, and not the fun kind of poisonous, like delicious whiskey, but the bad kind, like... Well, not whiskey. And one method of taking it is with sugar. And I talk about this more in detail in a video here. And the reason why I use it with sugar. So that you can tolerate the taste of paint thinner. I mean, it's not a hugely pleasant flavor. Almost like your body's telling you that you really shouldn't be consuming this foul tasting liquid. Also, taking with sugar. That's not a frigging dose. So obviously, extremely medically sound advice for eliminating candida and parasites is they absolutely love sugar, especially white sugar. So putting the turpentine on it and taking it internally, it attracts them to it and the turpentine kills it. I don't think that's how any medication works. For starters, once you consume it, it will be spread around wherever it is inside your body, both the terps and the sugar, which leads me to, if it's all spread out anyway, then it's gonna get the parasites anyway. Where are they hiding exactly? I'm assuming that they're hiding nowhere. Which is absolutely amazing. But if you don't want to take it with sugar, then you can take it with castor oil. And I put a link for a video here that you can check out. This is not, I just, <sighs> is it just me? Or is the sheer stupidity of this actually physically taxing? It's this kind of, well, just do this attitude that reminds me of one of those internet ideas that I'm going to bastardize. It takes zero research or effort to make up some BS and put it onto the internet, but it takes hours or even days to debunk it. Longer still when there's just nothing about your stupid made up crap out there. That's why I stick to pointing out the obvious. Like don't drink turpentine, you idiot. And as well, there is actually scientific studies done out there showing all the amazing healing benefits of actually using it. There isn't a big enough square slash X button on the planet to show just how badly I press button to doubt. But sure, go on then, show us all the science. And if you give me nothing but a blog, I think I'm going to scream. Inside of our bodies. And this was done by a French university a few years ago and I'm going to put a link down below for the study in case you want to check it out. Oh thank god you've actually got something and uh, it's not there. It's not there at all. Are you talking trash again Dan? But Christ would you look at all those affiliate links? Hmm. 
Not like you would have any reason to promote horse gubbins, is there, Dan? Also, I can't help but be amused by the view count. I think this website is trying to say something. And they're not saying that it is dangerous whatsoever when taken in the correct way and taking the medicinal dose safely. I don't believe you. And if they do say that, I don't believe them either. Sure, there's a safe, basically nothing amount for most poisons, but the better bet is to just not consume them at all. Especially when they don't do anything positive. And if they did do anything like that, you might have mentioned that the study said that. I mean, I have a study that says me stabbing myself in the knee with a ballpoint pen won't kill me if I stab myself correctly. But it's not like I'm doing anything other than hurting the hell out of my knee for no goddamn reason. Well, aside from the fact that I am an idiot and I must be punished. Ow! I deserve that. And one word of warning, you want to be very careful when you are sourcing your turpentine. Oh god, no! You wouldn't want to get the wrong kind of toxic substance. That would be a disaster. Do you either want it to say 100% pure gum spirits of turpentine or 100% pure pine essential oil? If it does not come under these two names, if it comes under things such as just turpentine or a rectified turpentine, it can be impure and toxic. So then it could harm you. Unlike when it is pure when it's toxic and can harm you, but at least you know what's killing you. So that's good, right? So you really want to make sure you get it from a reputable supplier, and I'm going to put a link down below. Yep, make sure you get it from a reputable hardware store, where one should be getting all of their medical supplies, like a nail gun to close those pesky open wounds, or a bath towel rail to splint those annoying shattered bones, or a drill to dig out that worthless brain as you clearly aren't using it, and it'll just get in the way. Best to just get rid of it now, before it hurts anyone else, right? Wait, before you go, I have something super important to tell you. It's life or death. It will change everything forever. Nope. Wait, it's gone. Oh well, probably wasn't important. But while I have you, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and notify. And if you want more of my smexy voice, check out Mrs. Six channel Spoonstar Stories, where I narrate and voice all the videos. And she does the work. And if you want to support the channel, check out the merch store for cool t-shirts, or check out Patreon, memberships, and PayPal to support directly. Finally, follow me on the medias of social to get completely pointless guff and to keep up on the latest releases. Oh, I just remembered what I was going to tell you. Whatever you do, don't touch the-